Emmerdale viewers have spotted a major problem with Joseph Tate's revenge plan, and it could bring about his undoing. The multimillionaire businessman, who is played by actor Ned Porteous in the ITV soap, returned to the village under a false name in order to destroy charity Dingle who he blamed for his dad Chris Tate taking his own life. However viewers have realized that all of Joseph's wealth, used to destroy the Dingles, could be his undoing as his inheritance also rightly belongs to his half-brother Noah, Charity's son. If the theory is true then it means Charity will be able to fight back against Joseph by taking half of his millions for Noah. However, viewers have also predicted a dark twist for the millionaire and his manservant Graham. In last night's episode, Scheming Joe bought his childhood home from Lawrence White as he prepares to move to Australia with his family, indicating that he won't be leaving the Dingles alone anytime soon. And while it looks like Joe will be taking revenge on Charity, who he blames for his father's suicide, viewers are growing suspicious of his driver and sidekick Graham Foster. Some have pointed out that he could actually be Graham Clark the man who murdered Joe's mum Rachel Hughes in 1999 when she tried to break up with him. Despite Graham being killed when his car drove off a cliff, it's not unusual in so planned for someone to be resurrected nearly two decades later. In the penultimate scene, Graham appeared to turn against Joe and was seen giving young Sarah Sigden her health insurance back, instead of tearing it up as instructed, leading viewers to wonder what is going on. One tweeted, there is definitely more to Graham than meets the eye. I hope he is the one to bring Tom down. Another asked, is sidekick Graham the same Graham, recast, that killed Joe Tate's mother Rachel? A third wrote, wonder if Graham is the Graham who killed Joseph Tate's mother? The real twisted mastermind. While another fan added, it's unhealthy how bad I want Graham to be the Graham that killed Rachel.